Okay. All right. Shalom. Call Haloi. Yahweh. By Hashem. Yahweh Shai. By Hashem. We call Kadash. And I want to give double honor to the apostle of Great Millstone and the elders who will well and salutation and honor to all you are came out there that are laboring and that are doing the work in faithful and in truth. And my name is Michael Allah and this brother is I'm one. And the brother I'm is one. and Kawab and we're from the Boston camp. And the title and the title of this video is Esau's end is getting close. And his his end is getting close and his post and his post side in the scripture about his downfall. And in fact, if you go to the Zalvin Bible Dictionary, even mention about the, the future judgment of Esau, who is the so-called white man today, which I'm going to bring out in the Zalvin Bible Dictionary and look up the word Edom. And he says, Edom, figure prominently in the prophetic scripture as the scene of great future judgment. She is the only neighbor of the Israelite who was not given any promise of mercy from the Most High. In fact, if you can get out Hebrew um, 12, 16 and 17 for me, Ark. Can I also request a quick precept? Mm -hmm. uh, somebody get uh, uh, Malachi 1? Sure, no problem. Just in front of uh, moving that point. Uh, I'll, I'll get Malachi 1 for you, Ark. Yeah, in Malachi chapter 1. Verse yep, and he says Malachi chapter 1. And it says the burden of the word of the of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, says the Lord, yet ye say, Wherein has thou loved us? Yeah, he's talking what about, go ahead? He's talking about um, loving Israel. Mm -hmm. He's talking about loving Israel. Go ahead. Was he says, Was not Esau's Jacob's brother? Yeah, says the Lord. The guy, that was the other guy who's supposed to be the wicked. Yet I love Jacob, and I hated Esau, and let his mountain and his heritage waste for the dragon of the wilderness. You know, so so the Lord said this. You know, uh, 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 um, I love Esau. I mean, Slaki, I love um Jacob, and I hated Esau. So the heavenly Father love one and hate the other. You know, it's perfect balance. That's yeah, that's a perfect balance. And yet, and yet you got people that were against it. You know. And he says, whereas Edom says we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus says the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. Yeah, I was saying, they shall build those things, but I'll pull them down. Okay. They are the people that I, I have indign indignation against. And it's, so it's pulled on what they're doing. It's, it's going there too. And he says, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. The people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. That's right. Yeah, righteous anger. Righteous anger. Mm -hmm. The heavenly Father has righteous anger against um, Esau. That's right. Khan, Khan, he, he does have righteous anger against Esau forever. You know, so the so the, so you just go to show you that the Mosai, the Mosai also have hate in his heart. For those of, for those of you, so especially so called Christian, Christian goer who don't believe that the heavenly Father have hate. You know, go ahead, Ark. No, I thought I was going to say, because the Mosa, he, he hates wickedness. Like Esau is the border of wickedness. Cunt. So that's a, a point proving that, you know, that the, the Mosa, the Mosa is going to judge him according to his works, man. Mm -hmm. That's why he said well, he's going to build up, which they're doing, and which they have been doing over a, a period of time. But now you see as evidence that what the Lord is bringing him down. Yeah, right? the, yeah, the Lord is bringing him down. Mm -hmm. You know, and 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 they go and and they no mercy for, for for these devils, as 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 he mentioned in the Zalvin Bible dictionary. You know, he said that, it, and we find bring it out one more time. You know, so like I come, and just bring it with it one more time, and he says, Edom figure prominently in the prophetic scripture, as a scene of great future judgment. So so Esau have a great judgment that's coming for him, and he says again, she is the only neighbor of Israel of the Israelite. Who was not giving any promise of mercy? And if you go to Hebrew 12, uh, start mm -hmm. of verse 16 and 17 chapter, mm -hmm. if you could read it for me, I'm on. Yeah, it, it says uh, Hebrews 12 and 16. It says, um, "Lest there be any fornicator or prof profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright." It says, "For ye, for ye know how that afterwards, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected." Yep. Was rejected from getting the blessing, so 
That's why he's always ag against um, Israel. That's why he's always against his brother because he was rejected. Con, con. Mm -hmm. It says for. It says for he found no place of repentance, and though he sought it carefully with tears. Yeah, when you when you when you look at um, Genesis twenty-seven and um, I think it's forty forty-one. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let me see, just to seven. Yeah, check this yep. out. Uh, I get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, 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 of course, you know, from before they were, before they were even born, you know, uh, um, the the Mosa has already made an election. The Mosa has already has already uh, 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 make a choice of whom he's going to redeem and of whom he's going to destroy. Uh, one vessel of honor and a vessel of dishonor. Yeah, that's Proving right. That, that's, that's ultimately Esau is the vessel to dishonor. Esau is that you can tell once again by his works because everything he do is uh, uh, adverse to what the heavenly Father is oh, establishing, true. what he set up. You know, so so and, and Esau is death, and most and the most has said what that he's a a, a power, uh, he's a god of the living, man. All right, and just like Yahweh shall fall in the same sentiment. You know, they they they're the living power, man. So that's showing you that Esau is the, the, the complete opposite. He's here to destroy. He's here to uh, uh, bring forth wickedness. He's here to do everything bad according to uh, what the Most High hated, man. Con, exactly. Because what, what did it say? You know, by, by the sword he shall live. Right. And, and, and and he's also, oh, go ahead, huh? mm -hmm. It says, um, this is Genesis 27 and 40. It says, and by thy sword shalt thou live and shall serve thy brother. Mm -hmm. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have dominion that thou shalt break his joke from off thy neck. It says Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherein his father blessed him. He hated him. Mm -hmm. He hated Esau because Esau. I say he hated Jacob because Jacob got the blessing. Mm -hmm. God. And um, it's even it's even worse than that because he was supposed to um, according according to to the um, custom of Israel he was supposed to be the inheritor yeah. because he was the, the first, first son yep. but because he was wicked because he he did not cherish the birthright he sold it and then he he was dishonest enough to um, tell his father to um, to make his father believe that he was still the the, the rightful owner mm -hmm. exactly you know mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. but but you know what? You, 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 that this, this was all the work of, of, of the heavenly Father. You know, the most I have, like I said, the most I have already chosen. You know, uh, um, Israel. You know, I mean Israel. Or I should say Jacob, which which which, which is the the father of, of, of Israel. He has already chosen him um, from from the womb. Esau was not chosen, but Jacob was chosen. Mm -hmm. You know, and through Jacob's line. We, 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 it was it was it was it was twelve sons, which make up the twelve nation of the house of Israel. But Esau never Esau was not the chosen one, and that's why the Lord is not dealing with Esau today's very day. The Lord is still not dealing with Esau, the so-called white man. Mm -hmm. And and um, we just say well, 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 well quick. Uh, and, and and as you know, Esau, the so-called white man, the elite, the wild child, they can sense that 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 their end is coming. Mm -hmm. But it just it just does regular average Edomite that's walking about the so-called white people that's walking about on, about on the earth they have no clue right. that 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 the lord uh, the lord is not going to redeem them not not going to redeem them they have no clue that the Mosai will one day wipe them off from off the face of the earth right. but they still believe though to 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 to, to the lies you know of of of, of 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 their elite that that they somehow can make it <laughs> you know Hey, yeah. want, you want to continue? You want to continue on on that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, read back from um, forty one. I'm gonna go back and continue on. It mm -hmm. says, and Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing where wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, the days of uh, of the mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. Uh, uh, and, uh, mm -hmm. and that shows you that what that 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 Esau wanted to kill. Jacob, you know, because of of, of, of of the birthright, the blessing that that was that was um, bestowed upon Jacob, because he said, "Is his name not Jacob that rightly supplanted me?" Mm -hmm. You know, so yep. Esau was vexed, and it's gonna go into saying that how, uh, uh, um, you know, I think it was Rebecca that said, "Hey, your brother has comforted himself in killing you." Mm -hmm. All right, and you can go into uh, uh, Amos one and eleven to show the show that that the, 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 the reasons why the Most High 
is, is going to destroy him. Right? Yeah, and he says, Amos chapter 1 verse 11, Thus says the Lord, For three transgressions of Edom, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword, mm -hmm. and they cast off all pity, and his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. Huh, and that's what happened over the years. Esau hasn't put that that that, that the animosity. Yeah, he, he hasn't put, the, he hasn't put the sword down and that anger that he came with it is still in him to this point. All right. Showing you that it's in his spirit to not do good. All right. The, it says the spirit in him is not upright. The spirit that's upright, um, slacking, the spirit that's lifted up in him is not upright. So Esau there's there's no good that come for him. That's why it says that he uh prepared um that, that anger did tear perpetually. And that perpetual means uh, mean forever, forever. Go on, going on and on and on. That's right. So now, look, the Lord is uh, the Lord is the, the, the defense of Yasha Allah, which is uh, Israel. All right. And guess what? Now the Lord has an a issue with Esau forever and, because of what Esau had towards the children of Israel. And I, and I got it one right here. Uh, and he says, Obadiah chapter 1, verse 10. And he says, For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. You know, and he said, he said for that for for that violence against that brother Jacob, and 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 having Esau have committed the the violence against the nation of Israel, you know, for the longest time, you know, Esau will be finding us to this very day. Mm -hmm. Now the time is coming where the Lord is about to bring vengeance upon Esau for for the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. you know, right. and, and we got some over here. Yeah, all? yeah, I got some. This is Proverbs six and sixteen. These six things do the Lord Yahweh hate it. The Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshua hated. Yes, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, and heart that devise, deviseth wicked imagination, feet, feet that be swift in running to mischief, yes. a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among his bre among brethren. Mm -hmm, yeah. All right? And this is the, 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 the things that the most I hate. And guess what? Esau this has is compiled. Esau is doing com all the time. All, uh, and he compiled all seven things that the most I hate. He and he does all seven things. All seven things. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's what the Lord have to, that's what the Lord is going to destroy him. Mm -hmm. Because because this devil, the only thing he's be he's been doing since he got in power is 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 is, is laying waste everywhere he goes. Because this devil is not about peace. He's only about destruction. Come on, I got something real quick. Yeah. It says, um, I'm going to jump up. This is Proverbs 6 and um, verse 12. It says, I'm going to read down. It says, a naughty person, a wicked man, walketh with a froward mouth. He winketh his eyes. He speaketh with his feet. He teaches his fingers. Frowardness is in his heart. He deviseth mischief continually. Mm, yep. He soweth discord. Therefore shall his calamities come suddenly. Suddenly shall he be broken without remedy. All huh. right, and that's going back to what you had stated about what the Lord is going to destroy them uh, uh, with a with a with a with a great destruction, man. When you go into uh, Obadiah one and eighteen. In fact, I'm I'm only on it right now. Huh. Huh. He says Obadiah one and eighteen, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for a stumble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. Yeah, because for, that would be his total destruction. Yep, for the Lord has spoken it. Mm -hmm. You know, and, 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 and that's and that's and that is um Esau's latter end. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's destruction. That's right. You know, that's that's the what that's what the future hold for the so called white men. Or I should say for the so called white waste, mm -hmm. you know, who who, who, are, who are of the city of Esau. You know, there, there is no future for the so called white man. Hebrew 12 and 16 said you know, there's no repentance for, for this devil. The, the Zalavan Bible dictionary, you know, even talk about even talk about the, 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 the prophetic um, future judgment mm -hmm. of, of Esau, the so called white man. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you got one right here, Art? I got yeah. one. Oh, you got so long. Yeah, some real quick. Um, second Ezra chapter 6, verse 9. Spirit, bro. And it says, uh, um, for Esau is the end of the world, yeah, yeah. and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. That's right. It shows you. It's gone, like, gone. But Esau is the end of the world, and we're living in the time of Esau. Yeah, we're uh, living uh, in the end times now. The, the downfall of Esau's rulership. Yep. Which says what? Jacob is the beginning of it that followed, which shows that what? That Edomites ain't going to be part of that kingdom to come. They're nope. not going to be part of going back into what, what happened. Um, Obadiah one and eight. They're going to serve in the kingdom, but, but they wouldn't be part of the kingdom. They're not going to be they part of the kingdom. They will serve in the kingdom, and then they would be destroyed. They're going to not going to reap no benefits from the kingdom yeah. of uh, of Yahshua, the kingdom of heaven that the Lord Yahweh Shemayim is going to establish. 
Esau is going to be servants, like the scripture says, um, um, Revelation 13. In fact, I'll, 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 get, I'll get that. Mm -hmm. um, that shows show you, man, that, that, hey, man, Esau, scripture says it, uh, Galatians 6 and 7, be not deceived, for the most high is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, he's going to also reap. reap. And Esau been re uh, sowing destruction, d wickedness, uh, discord, uh, doing all these different things. So guess what? He gonna have to. He's gonna have to pick up that 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 that. that, uh, that uh, he would have an abundant crop of um of wickedness. Exactly, <laughs> and it's gonna an fall upon his head. Crop. It's gonna, the destruction is gonna fall upon his head. Okay? And and he said, Revelation chapter thirty verse nine, if any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. He is the patient and the faith of the saint. And hey, here's the patience and the faith of the saints. So what the saints are patient? What are we waiting for? You know, All right? we're waiting for the new kingdom to be established because this is what's coming with it. You know, that 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 that, that. we was brought into captivity by a transatlantic what was a cargo slave ship, the mm -hmm. transatlantic slave ship mm -hmm. um, trade. All right, but now look, there's gonna be a time where these people that brought us into captivity is gonna go into captivity. And then and then not to mention they kill for the sword, so in turn we're gonna kill them with the sword. Mm -hmm. You know, this this is this is all the vengeance of the Lord. This is all the judgment mm -hmm. that's that await for Esau at the end. And the thing about Esau, the so-called white man, what they don't realize is when you look at when you look at or uh, or, or, or all the thing that they're doing on the earth right now with the pushing out of the of the vaccine, you know, or, 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 or in, in the pushing out, or which which of course will lead to the mark of the beast, you know, and of course uh, uh, um, them putting putting everybody in lockdown, which of course martial law, all this thing that you see that's mentioned in in, 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 in the prophecy that that's mentioned in, in in the Bible that most of you so-called Christian or even bottle the weed is now coming to pass and mm -hmm. Esau he have no idea that the thing that he's doing is actually fulfill the fulfillment of prophecy which will lead which will lead to his downfall that's right you know that's why he doesn't get he doesn't get that by him by him fulfilling those prophecy is also mark his end that's right that's what you he know? says he's gonna fall into that snare God. Esau is gonna fall into that same trap that he was setting up he didn't know that's what it says uh, 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 the pride of that heart had deceived, deceived thee. thee in fact if I'm, if I'm, I'm bringing out you know over that one and three you know one real quick and he says about that one and three and he says the pride of the heart have deceived thee thou that dwellest in the cleft of the walk whose habitation is high that says in his heart who shall bring me down to the ground and he says though though thou is out there as an eagle and though thou set the nest among the store this will I bring him down says the lord That's right. so 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 these devil they they cooking up all those all those plot all those plan not knowing that it is that they that they actually working for the Holy father on the left hand side to go out there and fulfill prophecy the, the the pride that they have that they have in their heart has completely blinded them from seeing their future downfall That's right. and, and 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 even though even though they may know that 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 Yahusha is coming back you know they can sense that Yahusha is coming back, but somehow they think that they they gonna they gonna manage to, to survive. That they somehow somehow they gonna manage to to make it. You know how Esau always shows in his end time apocalyptic movie. He always somehow to oh somehow he's always somehow managed to make it at the end. Right. You know you know. Day to day. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> but 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 you know what? It's not gonna be like that when that time do come and it shows you that's why they have created underground bunkers yep you know what i'm saying they're thinking they can hide what they say fall up till the rocks fall upon me and hide us from the wrath of the land exactly you know what i'm saying they, so they, they believe they're gonna skip the only father judgment <laughs> you know hey man he saw got it bad <laughs> you know and and, and and that's why and that's what the most i said this man though though they dig and then into hell, I'll bring them. Uh, I'll bring them up. Though they they hide in, into the heaven, I'll I'll bring them down. Mm -hmm. So so there's no hiding for this devil, man. Yeah, right. And um, if you got precept on, yeah, um, we gonna um, bring out this one piece and we end up with that. Uh, this is in Lamentation chapter four, verse twenty one, and it says. Verse twenty, it's like uh, twenty. Uh, it it says that the breath of our nostril. The oh, sorry, sorry. It's verse twenty one. Twenty one, huh? Bro. Uh, it says, uh, "Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of us." Yeah. It says, "The cup also shall pass through unto thee, and thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked." Hey, going mm -hmm. into what the scripture says, I think it's in the book of Jeremiah that says, "Those who judgment was not the drink of the, the cup, cup had surely drunken." drunken. Mm -hmm. All right. So now this uh, lamentation is saying what that they're gonna also drink of that yeah, cup. Get it? You know what I'm saying? They're gonna get that same judgment, but how much it says uh, reward her it, double. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and, and not to mention, Esau the so-called man is already drinking of that cup right now. Mm -hmm. 
let, 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 think about it. Back in the early 40s, 30s, or 50s, you, you well used to hear about Edomite being poor or homeless in the street. But as time moved on, you start seeing you, you start seeing the, the condition of, of Esau, the so-called white men. Yeah, all you have to look at is the, um, the, the, the train of cars that's lining up for food. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, yeah. And it's mostly Esau. It's mm -hmm. mostly Esau. You see, you, and, and the, the majority of people that are homeless in, in, in the street are mostly Esau. Mm -hmm. You know? Scratching in, 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 in the trash can looking for food. Why? Because the kingdom is, is the kingdom is, is ending. That's right. You know, Esau is no longer back in his in his in his um glorious form and glory days. He has the glorious days anymore. Those those glorious days glory are days over. Are over. Over. Back then when Esau was was in what is the glorious day? That's when he had slave. You know? When he had slave, when he was feeling good, you know. Yeah, that's why Trump come up with that um, nonsense about make, make America great again. Because America was only great when white folks were living on the labor of others. Exactly. We, but, but but now it's not the same anymore. Now time changed, and now the kingdom is falling. And and, and, and Esau's going to fall while on his kingdom. You know, everything that he, everything that the so-called white man have built, you know, in the memory of himself, the most is going to destroy it all. You know, go and, and is that it all? Or no? all right, I'm a quick piece of just to back up what y'all just said. Yeah, this is in Deuteronomy 30 and 7, and it says, And that the Lord thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies and upon them that hate thee, which has which persecute thee. And yep, and that's yeah. why the so called white man he's, he's, he got that curses now. You know, mm -hmm. the same curse that Jake went through, you start to see them devil going through, they're losing their job, you know, <laughs> they're losing their house, some of them are losing their 401k. You know, and not to mention that their children are being rebellious. The children are killing them. You know, he, he, he saw he saw created abortion in terms to to target Jake. Now he's starting he's starting to see a whole lot more um young, you know, my daughter that are aborting their kids. Mm -hmm. You know, so everything that he saw about to destroy us, the most have turned against them. Right. And like the brother said earlier, you know, they 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 they, they, they created a snare, uh, um, but they fall right into their own trap that they have set up over for Jake's. This this is all a sign of the so-called white man coming to an end. That's right. Yeah, you know? That's beautiful. I'm mean, gonna just finish this off. Yeah. And it says the cup also shall pass through unto thee, and thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. And it says the punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion, which is the Israelites. Yeah. It says uh -huh. shall no more carry you away. Yep, he will no more carry thee away into captivity. He says he will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom, and he will discover thy sins. Exactly, and and, and, and which is he said he's been discovered. You know, all, all all the thing that Esau have done on this earth is 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 being revealed throughout the world. Mm -hmm. And the Most has gone to pay him a visit for all the wicked shit he have done on the planet Earth. And our and now our iniquity is 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 about up. Our punishment here at the end of Esau is almost over. We have already um, served a sentence. Now the time has come. Yahushua is going to come down to, to, to um, deliver his elect, you know, out of that cage, out of that prison, you know, that, that, that they were in at the end of Esau. The most is going to deliver his elect, and then in turn is going to destroy the enemy mm -hmm. of the nation of Israel. Sure. And, and that's exactly what we're waiting for, you know, the, the downfall of our enemy. Like he says in, uh, uh, in, uh, in Ecclesiasticus, the Lord said that there are nine things that 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 um that he that he, um he um he, he love um to, uh, to say in his heart, you know, and, and um one he order of his tongue. If I'm paraphrasing correctly, he said uh, the one that lived to see um the fall of his enemy, you know, one that have joy of his children, and one that lo that lived to see the fall of his enemy, mm -hmm. and, and and that's what we're waiting for. To see the fall of an enemy, and the Lord's willing, we hope we are part of the elect to be caught up in that chariot and to witnessing the destruction of an enemy. And at the same time, we're going to be giving, we're going to be glorifying Yahweh Shai and praising His name when we see the downfall of the so-called white man's empire. Mm -hmm. You know, and and and, and that's going to be a wrap for Esau, the so-called white man. You're not going to hear about him anymore ever again. Uh, he says in Obadiah 118, which I'm going to bring out, bring it out. Um, so like, oh, it's gonna be over that one in 18. One more time. Since April, Erickson, I got it. Manuel, you got it? Yeah, so like, I got it. Uh, yeah. Obadiah 1, verse 18. Yep. And it reads, And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and mm. the house of Joseph a flame, mm -hmm. and the house of Esau a stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and they shall not, thou sh there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. For the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shah had spoken. Now, you know why he said? He said, there shall not be 
any remaining of the house of Esau. We're gonna gather them up and, and yeah, burn them all. So that, that means his whole family from, from throughout all his generation, mm -hmm. you know, all his seed that Esau that that that, that Esau have that are left alive on, on, on that time, we're gonna wipe them all from the from out the face of the earth. We are going to exterminate these devils. Mm -hmm. You know, so his whole house, me when when you talk about his whole house, it's about his whole generation, his whole family, his whole line will be no more. Because Esau take a crafty counsel to try to destroy the name of Israel, so so that way we, we, um, he will cut us off from 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 from, from, from so that our name will not be no more remembrance. But guess what? The Lord is gonna make sure that the, that the name of Esau Esau ain't, ain't going to be remembered anymore ever again after we get through with him. That's right. You know. So so payback is coming for you devils. So you better get ready, man. You may as well just do what you gotta do best. Be continue being a wicked devil because the time of your end is coming soon. Mm -hmm. You know, so with that I'm gonna say Kahaloi, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Bakal, Kodash. And I wanna give double honor to the apostle of Great Millstone and the elders who will well and salutation and honor to all you Akim out there that are laboring and I'll do the work in faithful and in truth. So with that, I'm going to say shalom. Shalom. shalom.